Last year, my sister went to the hospital after being in a car accident. When she was at the hospital, the x-ray showed something else. Pancreatic cancer. She was doing better and starting to make a recovery. I thought there was hope. I, I guess I was wrong. Tomorrow, I get to go and say goodbye to Alyssa. I don't want to do this alone. I can't be there alone. But I don't have to be. I have a couple friends who would go with me. I have Daniel. He was kind to me. I'm sure he would be willing to go. I also have Summer. After Stephen's assault on her, she and I have struck up a friendship. She's finally happy in another relationship, and <laughs> she's even pregnant. She, uh, she still sees a therapist from time to time. An event like that creates scars. They never go away, they only fade. There is also one more person I could ask. She attempted suicide. She's also experienced plenty of loss in her time, father and boyfriend. And I'm not very close with her, but I think it wouldn't hurt to ask, at least for prayers. It just keeps happening over and over. What do you mean? The assault. Every night, I go to sleep and it just keeps happening over and over. What did your therapist say to do? She said to keep my mind busy and try and do something before bed, but obviously it's not working because it still happens every night. I mean, I'm not an expert in this, and I should have told you a long time ago, but the I feel the assault was my fault. What, what, are you, what do you mean it's your fault? I mean, I told you to talk to Steven about what you guys were having those problems and all that. No, no, Tali, it wasn't your fault. I would have gone and visited him anyways. You're the one who saved me. You went and talked to Daniel, and I'm so grateful for that. I'm sorry. Are you ready? Me as I'll ever be. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. That wig's never looked better. Hey. How are you doing? I'm finally at peace. God is calling me home. I just have one request before yeah. I go. Yeah, anything. I just want you to take care of yourself. What do you mean? Mom and dad are gone, and I'm about to go home too. You have to stay strong and lean on God. I can't do this alone. You are not alone. You have the two of us. Three. Angel, I didn't know you were coming. I know, I'm terrible at communication, but I do keep my promises. We're here for you. We all have had our own battles. and I lost my brother and I made it through. I'm a suicide survivor. And I'm a sexual assault survivor. 
We have all fought our battles. Now this one's yours. And we're here for you. You are not alone. Thank you, guys. Can I have a minute alone with my sister? How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? You guys know each other? Her uh, boyfriend's sister, supposed boyfriend, uh, killed my brother in a DUI. It's a long story. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It happened a long time ago. Uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm, I'm going to take a breather. You're in pain. What do you mean? You're in pain. I can see it in your eyes. Daniel's talking about battles and you're still fighting yours. What's your name? My name is Summer. I'm sorry, I don't quite remember your name. Angel. How can you tell? Because I had the same look in my eyes when I was a child right after my father died. And then again when Carter was killed. Who's Carter? Carter is my boyfriend Daniel is referring to. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Can I ask what happened? I was uh, being mugged and Carter came to my rescue, but the mugger stabbed him and punctured his lung, so he bled out to death before any help could get there. It uh, threw me into a depression, so I actually tried to hang myself, but it didn't work. Um, I worked up the energy to keep going, and I actually got a therapist to go see. Can I ask what happened afterwards? My therapist told me to go find his sister, Patricia, and we still keep in touch to this day. I'm just trying to overcome my pain. May I ask what happened? My ex-boyfriend attempted to rape me. I mean, he eventually turned himself in and, and apologized. And he was, I could tell he was sorry, so I forgave him. But it just still really hurts. I'm, I'm so sorry. Do you have any sort of advice at least? I know it's going to take some time to really get over it but I don't think you've truly forgiven him because if you would have, I think a lot of your pain would, you know, have already gone away. So you need to learn to truly forgive him and it will help. Alyssa, you are the last of our family. Don't keep it that way. What do you mean? Don't dwell on the past. Make a family and be happy. Melissa, I don't... I can't do this without you. You're not alone. Thank you guys for supporting me. I've decided I'm going to take a little time off of school. Hey, remember, we're here for you. Anytime. Just, just call us. Thank you. I'll see you guys later. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing better. I think I just needed to learn something today, and I did. What did you learn? To forgive. I mean, 
I'll always be scarred by my past, but learning to forgive Stephen, I think that will really help. Let me know if you need anything. Absolutely.